I know this is not a new product, but I do want to talk about it a little bit. I've used this device quite a bit. If you're new to the channel and you don't know anything about this, it is called the DJI Osmo Pocket, period. And the reason why is because you can literally stuff it in your pocket. It's fantastic. It's an awesome device. However, there is one thing that really ticks me off. It's the audio. Really, I don't understand the placement and why they did it the way they did it. But if you see here, you've got a mic port right here or a mic pickup area right here and you have a mic pickup area right here. Right where you gotta hold the blooming thing. I mean, honestly, and then in the instructions it says, please do not cover up the microphone ports when using. Well, I mean, okay, so I get it. We're supposed to walk around and hold it like this. Like, you know, that's not comfortable. This is comfortable like that, not like this. Now, I'm not dogging DJI. Trust me, I am a number one fanboy for that company. I love everything they put out. However, that does bother me. Why couldn't they put it like four corners around here, around here, and around here? It would have been perfect, you know? Or add a port so you can put in an external microphone, a small one maybe, or something like that. I don't know. Either way, the only fix that I've seen so far is to get the adapter, which obviously sticks out about a half inch on the bottom and then you're going to plug in another cabled wire that sticks out even further before you know it, you have a you know extended tail out here that can bump and knock and break off and now you've ruined your port you've ruined your microphone and you know it's, it doesn't work it's not practical to me plus you've got to buy a case and you know mount all this stuff on and before you know it you've got this huge array of things and this was meant to be an all-in-one little discrete device so that you can go around and film and not feel, you know. Either way, I have some ideas, okay? Check this out. You've probably already seen these before, but if you haven't, it's this is the sticker part and this is the little furry thing that you attach to it. And it really acts like, uh, hold on. It acts like this, right? This is a little furry thing called a dead cat or a dead rat or a windsock or, well, really a windsock is something used in the uh, air, you know, in aviation where they can determine what direction the wind's going. But um, if you pull this thing off, right, here's your mic, right, and then you put this thing on, and if you're in a windy condition, you don't get all of the distortions, the crackles, the hisses, the, the garbledness, the artifacts in your audio that can obviously render it unprofessional and really aggravating to listen to. So, um, I want to try these things, and you're going to listen <laughs> and uh, have, a, have a good time, I hope. Or maybe you've already turned off this video and gone to something else. Either way, I want to see if these work, okay? This is going to be an ongoing thing, an ongoing thing. We're going to try it first today, and, it, and luckily enough, it is kind of windy outside. And what better place to try something in the wind? The beach. Luckily enough, I live right beside one. so. Um, we're gonna go out to the beach and try it. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna trash them. I'll give them away as a free thing for subscribing to the channel. I'm just kidding, no, I would not do that. I'm gonna throw them in the trash, okay? If they work, I'm gonna link them in the description below and that will be an affiliate link, so don't get confused because it will give me a kickback. But they're like $17 and you get a package of, of a bunch of them. I don't know how many are in here. But if they work, great. I'll link that in there and you can grab all you want um, and it may solve you a little, little trouble in a pinch. So. Uh, if they don't work, I've got a few other things that I'm going to try and I will do that in another video. Just kind of we'll build on this and see what works the best. So without further ado, let's go ahead and apply the stickers and see what happens. Oh, and also one more thing before we get out of here, I just want to let you know it does fit with the DJI products that you can, you know, add this little uh, wind, wind blocker thing, sticker, I guess you would call it. I don't know what you really call these things, but it, it doesn't get in the way. So you can use this with all of the assortments that I have 
seen so far with the DJI products. Yeah, DJI stuff, it works, it works great. As it works great with this too. Let me show you, I think I showed you already, but I wanna show you one more time, just because I'm a thorough person. All right, so let me get out of the way. Look, you can just attach this back onto the, the thing. If I can do it upside down. Yeah, I did it. All right, look, see? Still works right there. I'm looking at it too. Yeah, perfect. The only thing that might get in the way is this little guy. You know, I, I, I still don't understand why they put that one there. It's so weird, but anyway, I'm not an engineer. Let's go. All right, so we're here sitting on the beach, uh, testing out these uh, wind filter sticker things. I don't know what you call them. They're not really a dead cat. They're just kind of like a, a cover over for the speaker to kind of, you know, keep the wind from, you know, causing a lot of artifacts and noise in, uh, when you're trying to record something. So this is with those stickers on and just trying to figure out how it's going to sound. We've got about 10 to... 15 mile an hour winds. <laughs> Gritty. Yeah, uh, but anyway, how's that sound? That was a pretty good gust of wind. I'm getting covered in sand. I tell you what, my prediction is, my prediction is that it's gonna work okay, but not great. It's definitely not gonna be a dead cat. It's definitely not something that's gonna be a permanent fix because these things are stick-ons and I'm sure they'll get ripped off or may, they may deteriorate over time. You know, if it somewhat works, I think that's pretty good. If it doesn't work at all, it's worthless as trash, throw it out. If it works pretty good and it keeps the mic from like clipping or cutting out because of the wind noise or any of those types of distortions, I'm okay with that, you know? For a quick fix, it might do the job. If it doesn't do anything at all, then I've got a few other ideas I wanna try and I will post that in another video. But, all right. Uh, it's actually kind of hot out here. It's nice. It's like 75 degrees. It's wonderful. And tonight it's going to get down to 36. I don't know about you, but for me, that's freezing cold. You know, for everybody that lives up north, that deals with the snow all the time, that's nothing. That's like a average afternoon temperature. But for this tropical kid here, I can't handle that. That's too much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. And... Uh, Good grief, it's covered in sand here. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this video and then take these uh, little stickers off and then we'll see what it sounds like without the stickers. All right, so now we're back with the microphone uh, wind reduction stickers off. And we just had our huge gust of wind come through. I just wanna see what it sounds like. You know, did the mic uh, end up clipping or cutting out because of the wind noise? Did it cause a lot of distortions? Just kind of want to see what it sounds like without those on. Is there a difference? Does it work or does it not work? Who's to say? We'll find out. I bet my prediction is going to be correct though. I bet that it's going to work just a little bit, but not perfect. But hey, if it cuts it out for the most part all the way, you know, but maybe there just might be a smidge here and there, I'm okay with that. That'll work great. Well worth the money too. But if it doesn't work period, like I said earlier, I'm just going to try a different method. I've got a few ideas that I might, uh, you know, implement and see what we can do. And if it works out, I'll make a video about it. Add to this one, you know. Sorry, this is kind of boring, I know. And that face tracking thing is pretty awesome there, right? I turn my head and it follows me. Yo, that's, that's kind of trippy. Look at it following me around like that. Try to fake it out. <laughs> Alright, I guess we probably had enough wind coming through, so yeah. We'll see how that works. I'm gonna cut it off. We'll go back. I wanna finish this video so I can get it out to you. <sighs> okay, so the results are in, and my honest opinion is that 
I don't think these things are that bad. I really think they do help kind of buffer some of that wind noise out. They obviously don't get it all out because we could hear some of that kind of crackling through when we had the really strong gusts of wind. And you know, we're running, I guess, 10 to 50 mile an hour winds depending on where the gusts were and where we were sitting. But um, I didn't get any distortions with my voice. It, the, the, the mics didn't cut out. Um, I was still able to hear myself. Yeah, the noise stuff is kind of distracting. Definitely not something you'd want to do in a professional atmosphere. But for you know doing little vlogs and things like that, I think it would work okay. And uh, obviously without the microphone protection, little sticker, uh, wind stickers. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Um, but you know, I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of caught in between. I, I do like them. But there again, it's not a permanent fix. I think these are really good. Honestly, these little things are good for a quick fix if you're in kind of a tight situation and you need something to kind of help you. I don't think they're an end all fix all for everything. Obviously, using a professional dead cat and mic would be the best way to do it. Um, but there again, like I said, I have a problem with having this, you know, this three and a half inch adapter or whatever it is that you order sticking out here and then you've got another long wire from where your microphone is going to connect and then you got to find some way to connect your microphone and before you know it you've got this whole thing when this is really just supposed to be something small and discreet and kind of you know you know something quick you can put together not if i'm going to do all that i might as well carry my dslr and have all the good stuff on it you know so i mean that's my personal opinion your opinion may vary but I don't think these are too bad. I don't think they're too bad. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm gonna put the link in the description. If you wanna give it a shot, go ahead. I am gonna add on to this video later. I've got some of the things I'm gonna try. And before I video it, I'm gonna put it to the test and then see how it works. And I think these might work maybe a little bit better. It might be a more permanent fix. So either way, I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching. If you stuck all the way through it, I know it was kind of boring, but we had to go through all that just to get the results and you know really see what was going to happen. Um, if you want to stay tuned and see what happens next with some of my other ideas and some of my other videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit click that bell so you'll know when I uh, upload. Um, I've got a few things I've got in the fire here. I'm going to try to, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you. Just stay tuned <laughs> and I will see you when I get back.